Blah blah bro, help me. Oh, Fourier series. What if I told you that with just one phrase? Teach me quickly, what is the phrase? This is the founding principle of the Guild of Perception. Inner product reveals all. Are you kidding me? Let's start with an old friend we've known since high school, the vector inner product. What happens to the value of their inner product as we continuously change the angle? Is it true that the closer the directions of A and B are, the larger their inner product value? Precisely. The inner product is the universal language the universe uses to measure how similar two things are. And in the world of Fourier, we use integration. Then, by performing the inner product between this periodic function and the sine waves, vectors of different frequencies, the opening move for inner product reveals all is similarity is directly proportional to the periodic integral from 0 to t. Don't trick me. This doesn't look like the formula in my textbook at all. This is just the first step. A simple inner product can only reveal the trend of similarity, but it cannot directly compare numerical values. What does that mean? Therefore, we must standardize our comparison tool. It's very simple. We make the similarity of a sine wave with itself equal to 100%. This gives us a fair baseline for comparison. Huh. The formula in the textbook is very complicated. How is yours so simple? We're not done yet. Imagine someone lets out a fart in the classroom. Ugh, what a gross analogy. As the fart smell slowly spreads with the person who farted at their center, people in the classroom will smell it one after another and blurt out, Ugh, it stinks. Who farted? See, everyone is saying the same sentence, but the moment it reaches your ears is staggered. That's a time difference, which is a phase difference. Hey, you're right. What should we do about that? We must send out two observers for the same frequency. These two observers must be complementary, just like sine and cosine, because they are orthogonal on the unit circle. Huh, so the Fourier series is just calculating the similarity between a periodic function and a bunch of sine and cosine functions of different frequencies. But the formulas you wrote are still different from the textbook. Look, the standardization factors of sine and cosine, which are the integrals in the denominator, have fixed values. Rearranging the formulas will lead to the final form, the very one that strikes fear in the hearts of students in textbook. This is the ultimate form of inner product reveals all. Wow, it's true. The formulas I used to memorize were derived this way.